Well, prior to Alexa Grasso breaking through against Valentina Shevchenko, no one had fought her as closely as this Brazilian talent, Tyla Santos. A lot of fans felt like in UFC 275 back in Singapore that she should have been the athlete to emerge with the split decision win. Of course, that is neither here nor there. She's an outstanding striker, undeniable knockout power at 125 pounds. Can lean on her grappling if need be. Tonight, though, she is focused on striking, leg kicks, jab. She believes her power will be heard from before fights end. Well, the Olympic wrestling gold may have eluded her, but she is as high level a wrestler as we have in this division. And more often than not, I would think opposition is going to be, is going to have a hard time stopping her takedowns. I mean, she is, or she reminds me of Sarah McMahon, Tatiana Suarez, those high level wrestlers that came into women's mixed martial arts or female mixed martial arts and just dominate. And the one thing that separates her, though, her striking's better. She possesses the ability to stand. And because she can do it all, she's even more dangerous. I'm high on this kid, John. I'm very high on her. Yeah, she talked a lot about trying to be instinctual as a fighter, but you know what her instinct is going to be first and foremost, try to get a takedown and get this fight in her world. Just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kyla Sanhok. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Cynthia Cavillo. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Great. Good. All right, here's the longtime UFC flyweight contender, Cynthia Calvillo, getting ready to go at the start of this round. Did make her UFC debut as a strawweight, but certainly most would argue she has found her right division. She has responded well to adversity in the past. Figures to get some from her opponent here tonight. Calvillo going for the body. Missed with that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, and on the counter, able to jab to the head. So a nice job by her to use her length there. Rips the body there. All right, so she gets the knee home right up the middle. And we'll see if the wrestler can make some adjustments. You don't want to eat too many of those. You're going to have to make adjustments as a wrestler. You've got to create angles to get a level change. It cannot be on a straight line anymore. Because now you know that she is throwing knees up the middle, and if you catch the wrong one, it's gonna be the end of your night. Uppercut lands. What a great job by her there to double up on the jab and really giving her opponent a lot to think about on the feet tonight. She's having trouble processing everything that's coming at her, and she's beating her with a basic, basic jab, but they're very nice and crisp. Working inside the half guard of Tyler Santos. And now she's in mount. She is so dominant from the top position. Look at that, going into the armbar. What a tight armbar. Oh, 
fight IQ on full display. This young lady recognized the sub wasn't there, so she kept the dominant position. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this. Nice guillotine tip here. That guillotine is very tight. She's got the guillotine choke here. She's got a secure opponent. She cannot allow her to roll to her back and fight her hands. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. This is a terrible position. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Excellent ground and pound here by Santos. Final seconds of round one. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Santos. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. Strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another yeah. one to finish the fight. Oh, a big left hand. That leg can hurt. Calvillo's strike attempt there is blocked. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice takedown defense. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Caught that kick there. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. She's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now some separation between the two Nice job at least staying yes, upright yes, on that. Yes. Yes. Calvillo gets the clinch here. Let's see where she goes now. Just over two minutes to go. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Santos back in half court. Nice job by her there. The bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. Yes. Yes. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening cut. From the start of the fight, you can see that she was different tonight. You can see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh. Seconds here of round two. Calvillo grounded down from half guard. Two rounds in the books. Oh, 
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight? Ready. Third Ready. round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. Stand. She's still standing. She's got to get on her bike, Jack. She's got to get out of the seat. She's face. So he's oh, nice body shot. She gets in very close and gets to the single contact. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. transition oh you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here she's as good a ground striker as there is in this division landed another one there oh looked like she got that one home another nice strike with the ground and pound a lot of consistency in her ground and pound striking well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern. Oh, looking for the ghillie lock now. Might have the guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Here we are. We're in the fight now. She's got to keep pressing. Oh, she escapes. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything we're having will not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Santos. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. That was nice. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Santos. Striking from every position lands a strike from the box. Oh, how good is her submission defense there? Santos going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. There you go, again, half guard. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, Santos has got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. Way too aggressive against your opponent. Well, I'm not sure if the swelling is just cosmetic. She might be severely injured. Let's look back at some replays from that round. Well, when you take shots that clean, you run the risk of being injured and injured badly. She was not good defensively. And ultimately, she's the one that's paying for it. She has got to change something if she wants to stay in this fight. Great fight. Great. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. <laughs> Kick is good by Santos. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice hook. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Yes. Leg kick lands. Oh, the issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked by the Anderson Silva situation. Yes. Calvillo.
Rubio's in half guard. Uh -huh. just... That was a slick transition. Three minutes to go. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's coming. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Oh, wow, she's got the arm triangle tight. She's got it in tight. Great decision there. Maintain position over submission. Very, very smart. Calvillo's back to the side control now. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take the knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, the arm is just going up and down your shin, blocked by your ankle, blocked by your knee. That's how you keep it there, and you maintain the underhook on the other side. So you control one part with your knee, one part with your arm, and then you just use your hands to just punch and beat them up. Nice. Oh, how good is her ground and pound? That one actually opened her up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Calvia. She could get the sub here. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Well, they haven't called for the doctor yet, but she is swollen. Doesn't look at all like the woman who walked out here a couple hours ago. Yeah, she got beat up in that round. She took far too many shots right on the target. She has got to do something different on the defensive side, or this fight is not going to go long. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Yes. For good measure, so the longer fighter really starting to find her groove and rhythm on the feet. Oh, overhand punch to the head is good for her. Oh, that is it! Holy smokes! With one of the greatest knockouts you will see! Holy smokes! We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number five. We play the winner by knockout, Cynthia Gavillo. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knocking. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.